Hey what's up YouTube, we are back again with another video. We have the Redmi Note 10 Pro and I have already made the unboxing for that particular device. If you haven't watched that, do consider uh, watching it on my channel. It's linked in the description and in the card as well. So basically in this video, we are going to discuss how we can take screenshot on the MIUI 12 device. And it is going to be absolutely simple methods which you can use in order to take the screenshot. So uh, the first method is really, really simple. You just need to slide down your notification bar and in here you will find an option for a screenshot. Just tap on that and you can easily take the screenshot on your device. So this method is really, really simple. The other method is going to be by pressing down the volume button and the power button simultaneously and you can take the screenshot on your uh, Redmi Note 10 Pro device or any device which is supported by MIUI 12. I'm just going to press the button simultaneously. Here we go. And you can see that I can take the screenshot by pressing these two buttons quite easily. Uh, okay, this is the second method. The third method is going to be really, really simple as well. You just need to uh, slide your three fingers in order to take the screenshot. Here we go. Uh, you can easily use your gesture in order to take the screenshot. So this is really, really great option for us. Uh, okay, uh, this is going to be uh, available in all the devices which are supported by MIUI 12. And uh, for some reason, if that is not working on your device, just open up your settings. And in here, you will find an option for additional settings just tap on that and here you will find gesture shortcuts just open it up and in there you will find a take a screenshot if that toggle button is not activated on your device just activate it and uh, then move towards your main screen or any screen which you want to take the screenshot and you can easily take the screenshot using that method the next method is going to be also available in the settings you just need to open it up and scroll down towards the additional settings and in here you will find an option for quick ball just tap on that and turn that on and you will find out that there is going to be a circle present on the right side of your device. Uh, it's going to be an assistant for you. Just open it up and you will find out that there is going to be a shortcut option. Just tap on that and you can take the screenshot using that method as well. Okay, the final method is going to be also available in the settings. Uh, you just need to open up your settings and in here, uh, scroll down towards uh, the additional settings and here you will find out the accessibility option uh, you just need to open it up and the second menu which is accessibility menu is going to be available just tap on that you just need to turn it on and you will see that uh, there is going to be a button that is going to be appear on the bottom of your uh, menu and you just need to tap in here and you will find out that there is going to be a screenshot option here you can use that in order to take the screenshot of your device so basically these are simple methods through which you can take the screenshot on your device and also you have the option to edit these screenshots which you have taken. For example, you feel uh, see when you open up your screenshot in your gallery, you can share these uh, screenshots with your friends and family and also you have the option to edit them and also uh, you have uh, to make them favorites, delete them and you can set them as a wallpaper on your device or you can start a slide share as well using these screenshots. So guys that is it in this particular video. I hope this video has helped you out in some way. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here because some amazing content is coming later this month. Thanks for watching. Peace.